But let me close with this. Look, I am truly more optimistic about America today than I've ever been. I really mean it. We're on a path to win the economic competition of the 21st century that we face with the rest of the world. I told Xi Jinping, who I'm told I've met with more than any other world leader, that it's never been a good bet to bet against the American people, never. Given half a chance, they have never, ever, ever, ever let the country down. We're the only nation that has always turned every crisis we faced into an opportunity. No other nation you can name has gone through a terrible circumstance and come out at the other end worse off than they were before the, the circumstance occurred. We're stronger today than we were a year ago. And we're going to be stronger a year from now than we are today. So let's keep building. Let's continue to give families a fighting chance. And let's meet this moment together. Folks, one last thing I'd like to say to you. Other reason why I'm so optimistic is because of the younger generation. You know, we are a country that is very diverse. And for the longest time, and we still have some serious resistance to diversity in this country. But guess what? The younger generation doesn't feel that. The generation that goes to this university, the, young, the generation that's in high school and up through age 30, look at them. Look at how they interact with one another. They make no distinctions based on race. They make no distinctions based on gender. Think of what's happening. One of the things that I'm confident about <clears throat> is they are together, and they want the nation to be together. And one of the things I promised I would do, and I've gotten criticized for it, but I'll just flat out admit it and I'm not going to stop. My administration is going to look like America. Look like America. For example, in my administration, we have more women than we have men. A little bit. That's because all the women in my life are smarter than I am. <laughs> we also have the greatest diversity we ever had. Look, folks, there's nothing, there truly is nothing beyond our capacity. There really isn't. We're the most unique nation in the history of the world, and that we're the only nation built on an idea not geography, not built on the notion of, of race or religion or ethnicity. None of that fits the description of the United States. <clears throat> built on an idea that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all women and men are created equal, endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. We've never lived up to it. We've never walked away from it. And every generation has moved that dial closer and closer and closer. And we badly need it now in a world that is so close. Look, folks, your kids are going to see more change in the next 10 years than we've seen in the last 50 because of the change in the technology and so much more. We've got to be ready. America has always been ahead of the curve because we do hold these truths to be self-evident. Again, we're not perfect. We're not even close. But we never have walked away.